The random color preset works very similar to the color chase preset, although it allows you to randomize what colors and what order show up. You always can pick a starting color, and then you have the ability to set how many different color steps you would like inside of that. By default, you get four, and you can adjust this to whatever number you want. The seed provides you a pseudo-random organization of the color. If you click randomize, you can jump from seed to seed and always ensure that you have a different color. However, if you like the random that you're using, remember that seed number and you can apply it back later. Underneath that, you have your loop option for timing. By default, it's count, saying that it'll iterate through one time through this effect. If we raise this up to two, we will now iterate through two times for this effect. If we set it to period, we can say how long we would like it for one iteration of the effect to go through. Underneath that, we have offset style, which will allow us to select whether our lights should all run together or if they should follow each other through the effect. You then have the options for repeat and buddy. At the bottom, you can choose whether there is any fade time from color to color, and if not, what the hold time is. Fade time allows us to blend the color together, and hold is how much static time the fixture will be on for in that color. If you modify fade, it will automatically modify hold for you. 